Hi there, I'm Elke Valovirta, and for this one I'm gonna compare Marshall 1987X Plexi reissue to Marshall 1959 hand-wired Plexi also reissue. First I'm gonna use a Variac on both and Super Overdrive and then without and then some cleans with Chorus. So I'm gonna edit this that there's not much talking, you know, you just hear different clips and I highlight whatever amp is in question and yeah the signal chain my warmost strat I put together myself with EMG81 and S single coil pickups then into the pedal board and then there's you know DSD calls whatnot then into KHA or Alexis amp switcher then to the amps Back to KHC, then we are fried power station, so I'm matching the, the levels. The, the 50 watt isn't actually that much quieter, <laughs> it's really loud too. And then I'm using my Marshall 960BX cabinet, uh, where I'm micing the Greenback speaker 25M with the single Sennheiser E906, and then I have there also a couple of other speakers. This time I'm making a green back 65M with Sennheiser MD421 and Shure SN57. Then both mics go to the, or both mic pairs, because there are some there, the two tracks with Radios 2 to 1 Summit Mixer, they go to the Warm Audios WA412 mic pre, then into the Logic, and that's the signal chain. Both amps are set the same, everything on 10 except volume 2 on 4. 10, going to 4 and jump together.
Conclusion. With Ryak, the amps are more kind of in the... It's hard to describe, but they are just more kind of in the glove, in the pocket. At least to me, feel-wise and sound-wise. This uh, distorts earlier, breaks up earlier. The preamp, if I've understood correct, is, is really similar. Basically the, the same, or maybe, you know how Marshalls are, nothing is exactly the same, at least the old amps. But then the difference is happening in the power, power amp stage, because, uh, you know, two power tubes, EL34s, four. Bigger transformers and, and stuff, so uh, the 100 watt stays cleaner longer, there's more headroom, it's like, almost like a JSM 800 with 6550s like this one, or with EL34s like this one. The 6550s are a little bit cleaner, so you can actually drive them more with, let's say, overdrive, without it becoming mushy. The low ones just stays cleaner. So th those are the, the sonical differences. So stays cleaner, longer, sags more, breaks up earlier. This cleans a bit better. It's a bit more open. And uh, I mean, I thought that uh, for many years, I thought that I'm, I'm a 50 watt guy. But the reason was that because I wasn't using a Variac. I mean, it was insane without the Variac. 51 is actually somehow manageable, it's really loud too, the, the volume difference is kind of like 3 dB or something. Now with the Variac, I really like the feel of the 100 watts and how it cleans really, really nicely. And I mean, I had now everything on 10, so I, I wasn't even messing with the channels and with the pre -level. you can get completely clean sounds from this. So, that's the, the conclusion. Which one you you like? I like them both a lot. They're a bit different, but uh, at least this time today and lately I've preferred the 100 watt more with the variety. Links in the description to Marshall's website where you can, you know, check this out and to music site. They have a bunch of Marshalls. I'm not sure if they have these now, but uh, I'll put a link in there. You can check it out. I think their prices are really competitive. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Lexi.